My name is Brad Ryan and I'm an endurance bike pack racer. In 2017, I competed in the Tour Divide from Banff, Canada to Antelope Wells, New Mexico. It's 2,700 miles and about 170,000 feet of vertical elevation gain. Just a slight headwind today. Lovely day for riding. I don't think I was planning on doing so well early on. Like, I, tra I definitely trained quite a bit and tried to make my training pretty strenuous. I think we we're basically putting in about 140 miles a day or so, and I was like waking up pretty early in the morning, and then from there, just like, oh, I might actually kind of be in this race. So I had a couple of days of just like trying to get through some nagging, like ankle and knee pain, but then I was like, hit this point where I was felt strong again. It was Pinedale, Wyoming, and uh, later that night, ended up just my stomach was not sitting right. Got some, some bad food, and uh, before long, I, I was just like, I gotta go to bed and like try to sleep this off because it's killing me. Ended up laying down on the side of the road, and a guy ended up picking me up and bringing me back to uh, Boulder, Wyoming, and stayed there a couple of days. It was tough. like watching people that I was miles and miles and miles ahead of pass me and continue to pass me while I was low on energy. And I considered pulling the plug there, but uh, I don't know, I was just like, you know, I gotta finish this thing. And that was kind of the turning point. I remember going to bed that night feeling pretty good and like from then on, it was appetite was back and stomach problems were gone. And, I just started having a lot more fun. As far as the finish line, it's fairly anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, you just finished the biggest race of your life. And, you know, even when you go do a 5K, there's like a crowd at the end or a celebration in this case. Uh, you know, one person, which, you know, I'm supremely grateful they made the trip to come see me. Coming home and just having like a lot of people having like really kind things to say, and really supportive and really proud. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It feels like an underground sort of race. I don't know, something cool about it. <laughs>